something that I knew would be good for me was like getting back under a ruck and just like going. Uh, but I was so broke, I couldn't even buy a pair of boots. And I went to Google and I typed in boots for veterans. And the first thing that popped up was boot campaign. And I fired off an email that day. And by the very next day, I had a phone call. And um, uh, from that day, my life changed a lot. We're going to start by talking about footwear and what it can mean from an organization called the Boot Campaign. Tailoring individualized treatment is so important and I think something that individuals that served our country deserve. There is no silver bullet, magic pill, quick fix that's gonna solve these issues. It takes work and we need those veterans who are willing to put that work in with our guided assistance to make a difference. I just strongly, strongly suggest people if, if they're on the fence to, to go to the other side and actually seek help and get help. My name is Shelly Kirkland and I am the CEO of Boot Campaign. So Boot Campaign began in 2009 after five Texas women read Lone Survivor and wanted to do something to give back to the military community. And they did that by lacing up civilians, influencers, celebrities, and putting on a pair of combat boots was a sign of gratitude. And it grew into a movement and um, we still stay true to that today and we encourage those to lace up with us and put on a pair of boots to say thank you. Black Rifle Coffee has been a big supporter of Boot Campaign over the years. We cannot serve the veterans we're serving without the support of corporate organizations like Black Rifle Coffee and all of the employees um, and partners that they have. Matt's been a friend of Boot Campaign for years and very close with several of our board members and has always individually supported our efforts. With his participation, Black Rifle Coffee sort of stepped up um, in a much larger way. It was a natural fit because I personally believe in the organization so much. They're so high rated, they're third party audited, they have, you know, transparent financials and all these things that matter to me. From there, you know, we made the decision on the executive side to, to have an official relationship with Boot Campaign and Black Rifle Coffee. Boot Campaign has two primary focuses in its programs. One is our health and wellness program. That's where we spend the bulk of our energy, effort, and funding. We provide individualized care and programs treatment for veterans. Um, dealing with what we call the big five invisible wounds, PTSD, traumatic brain injury, insomnia, chronic pain, and self-medication. We have a clinical psychologist on staff who really gets to know them, gets to know their history, their service history, and really puts together a treatment pipeline for them with doctors and care providers that are in our organization and across the country. 30 years of being hyper aware and being ready to, you know, moment's notice go to conflict paid a toll on me mentally and physically. But because of the individual program that I got from Boot Campaign, uh, allowed me to get into some functional medicine, some out of the normal, you know, treat the problem, not the symptom. It looks at it from a holistic standpoint. I'm in a mentally better place. My soul is in a better place. Less than a year ago, I weighed 310 pounds. And today when I went to the doctor, I weighed 255. By solving those has enabled me to, to function better as a whole. I would say that I've been treated with dignity, respect, true concern, and feel like I've received a hug from the boot campaign staff. I needed that to realize that I needed help. One of the main things about boot campaign is that everything that we do is individualized. How we serve veterans is individualized, how we work with partners is individualized, um, and how we work with our donors is individualized. We want to make sure that we're building relationships for the long term. And so through our holiday program, Santa Boots, we receive nominations of veterans and active duty families who are experiencing a challenging time. And we get their sizes, their favorite colors, what they like to do, um, both as a family and as individuals. And we have volunteer shoppers that go out and shop for them. We buy everything. Um, for them that they may want, may need, um, and then basic necessities too. And we send all that to our Dallas-Fort Worth warehouse where we have groups of thousands of volunteers come in and actually hand wrap each of those gifts. And then we hand deliver them just before the holiday season. It was an incredible Christmas for me and my family. It came at a time in my life where I could barely pay my bills. Just that 
push that I really needed. Then as I got back on track, they have supported me. You know, that's really what I needed. It changed my life. Our founders were really strategic and smart and really wanted to make sure that our donors' dollars were stewarded well. So we are independently audited every year, and I'm excited to say that in 2022, 91 cents of every dollar was used for veteran programs that we have. Individualized treatment. I think a lot of people that have gone through the VA and other government and or charitable organizations, they're not focusing on the specific cause of the issue. And for me, I've seen a lot of Band-Aids on a bullet hole. And for me, the thing that really stands out for the boot campaign is the care and understanding about you. And I think that just sets the bar so much higher. I think there is still such a stigma associated with seeking help and that many veterans feel like they can't. And as long as we sort of break down those barriers and show that seeking help is actually a sign of strength, that's what's most important. I've seen what good it does for people and they're confident in their health and their well-being, and they have a, a direction and an azimuth towards a better life. And for me, that's, that's absolutely everything. I, I don't know, I can't put the gratitude and, and thankfulness into words that probably will get captured during this interview, but I can't thank them enough.